Today, we're looking inside of a Logitech MX2 computer mouse. This should be pretty cool. Let's look at the clicky, scrolly thingy. Here in the front of the mouse, we have a motor. So that's actually living right about above the power switch under this button. That's just a full brushed DC motor. What is that motor actually drive? Well, it's gonna wind up being something injection molded in plastic. because so that's just the cheapest way to manufacture everything. So that's what we're gonna wind up seeing here. We have these two torsion springs. I think are actually responsible for the middle mouse click and letting this entire mechanism rock up and down. And I think this coil spring right here is what's actually giving us our detent action. Speaking of detent action, what do we see here but a sphere? So this right here is the ball that gets driven into some part of this uh, ring. That's the part you scroll with, it's this big ring. And this ball is gonna get forced into or out of engagement by this motor actuating. What you can see while we're in here is actually how the scrolling is picked up. So when you spin this wheel, what's turning that motion into an electronic signal that can be picked up by the controller and sent to your PC? Well, it's this three pin package here, this slotted grating here, which is going to be a piece of plastic, so it's not very easy to see, this two pin package here. So this is going to be an optical source, an LED. It's going to be shining, presumably infrared light, through the thickness of the scroll wheel, and it's then picked up by this package over here, which I'm going to imagine is a dual photodiode device so that you can detect the direction that each of those stripes is swinging by as it blocks the LED. 